Hello everyone and welcome back to Keep Productive News. So we've got an update to Obsidian. It is V0.9.1 and it brings some improvements to the graph experience inside of the application. So now users will be able to go into the graph view and modify two different settings and this changes to both visual layout and the searchability. So the first of those is a display. What you can have now is an improved display in terms of how your nodes look. So for example, you can change the node size, which is the note size, uh, and you can modify that with great detail, especially if you've got tons of notes. You can add in arrows, link thickness, and actually change the gravity of how the actual graph sits. For example, changing the center force, repel force, link force, and link distance. So now these modifications have come in, uh, and seeing on Twitter some of the people's layouts are really impressive in terms of what they look like. Now, if you haven't checked out, we've got an Obsidian Made Simple course, which is currently in its launch week, and you can get it in the link in the description. So do make sure to check that out. The second of those updates that is inside of the graph view is filters. So what you can do now inside of here is pop open the filters and actually search for specific files. So if you're looking for a specific topic or a time that something was mentioned and you wanna find the specific link between a node, then you can do that now. You could also select on and off tags to appear, attachments and existing files as well as orphans to see anything that sort of gives you a preview of um, you know what you would like to see. It's quite interesting, um, especially if you've got a lot of tags set up and attachments, you can then sort of skip ahead in terms of having to find um, and it definitely improves the searchability of certain notes. You can restore any of these to factory settings at any given time, but these updates definitely make Obsidian a lot more attractive in terms of the graph view. Whilst Rome Research does have a nice graph view, it doesn't have these abilities of being able to change or modify the structure of the graph. And as you can imagine, a lot of people prefer having the Mac application to be able to do that. So that's something of uh, uh, definitely a lot of people are enjoying in Obsidian. So folks, uh, a huge thank you. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of this update. Uh, please do make sure you subscribe to Apple Podcasts and on Spotify as well. But if you have any questions, let us know on Twitter. Cheers, folks.